now from the fifth bowler. And uh, uh, the no Enzimar's not running, so finally a run out has uh, occurred, and that it was just a matter of time with Enzimar out there, really. But that uh, was a magnificent partnership. Very entertaining, very high quality stuff too. Yusuf Bihana is the victim. Maybe a little bit of his own enthusiasm. It was hit straight at Shane Warne. Johanna would have got there, but uh, Inzamam was never setting off. <laughs> that straightforward. Uh, Tempted Yorker. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, another run out, surely. Oh, he's done him. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That's silly cricket. I think Inzamam and Hock will be run out here. Well, there's no doubt about that. Um, and uh, he's out of his crease, so it's uh, Inzamam out for sure. Well, no, it was him again. Was it just a little bit hasty there? Inzamam actually got hit on the foot, and the momentum of the ball hitting him on the foot actually took him to ground. Just watch this. He gets hit on the foot, leans over. Oh, no, then he, then he actually lies down. Yes, uh, and then reaches for his crease. Oh, what a... Inzamam, and there could be an easy run out there. And it's Inzamam, once again, run out in his career. Big wicket for India. And you won't see this man more livid ever. Not a happy man in the field when he was marshalling his troops. And here, he was looking for a run. And Abdul Razak not responding. And the reaction from Inzamam, you have to trust my call. It was word. Say them were playing the ball, he was on the move. And in the Mamul Haq calling for a run, that was his call. And Saidan were not responding. Huge wicket for the Indians. They are back. Now there's a big appeal. Is Daryl Hare going to respect that? Because there's an extra run that Pakistan's got. Ball ricocheting off the stumps. The third umpire has been called on. Well, my immediate reaction was that uh, Inzi hadn't moved. the stumps, has a throw. I don't think he moves out the crease, but let's have a look. Obviously, the umpire is in the way here. No doubt about the ball hitting the stumps. That is in the air. Tell you what. I think that's uh, it's given, and I'm not surprised. The back, the foot, the right foot is in the air. Steve, nasty. Inzamam's come too far out, but he's gone. Oh my word! How many times have we seen that from Inzamam or Huck? Running out here. Well, that's tragic. So he went by looking for the single. Sacrifice there by Inzamam or Huck. Probably fair enough, but. Disappointing end for the young man. I think Inzamam was as much to blame there as Saeed Anwar. Inzamam started to come. The side. Inzamam wanted the run. He didn't. He lost. The third wicket goes down. Oh, gone. I mean, that is just ridiculous. We've been talking about uh, Inzamam's lack of ability running between the wickets. Well, Ejaz has gone, and I can only assume that was just a complete...
Amazing how run outs can change matches. Inzaman looks well, but non plus at the moment, but well, it's all happening here. It's Yograd Singh, a direct hit now. In Zamamal has got nothing. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. This is a major, major breakthrough. What was he thinking? Quick single. That's always going to be dangerous. A direct hit. And umpire Dave Shepard has called for the third umpire, Doug Cowie, to get involved. John T. Rhodes. I can't believe they looked for a single to John T. Rhodes. And you can always tell from the reaction of one of the two teams out there, the batters, they either uh, stand around and look quite comfortable, the fielders get very excited in South Africa, I must say, look quite excited. Good pick up by John T. Rhodes, firing it in, and some um, shot at this point of time, that not being dragged, the, on the air.